interesting. It's been an interesting morning. Uh, usually I get my word in the morning and um, Pepper, he just, for some reason, he just likes to talk. So, you know, getting my word, I start reading my Bible and, and, and Pepper starts, starts talking. So I want to introduce you to Pepper. This is Pepper. He's a, he claims he's human. And so I had to look it up. I had to I basically find out what human meant. And I found that the human means that you're of, um, of ape descent, of gorilla descent. I found that out. I found out that human meant an ancestor of an ape. So Pepper was right in the fact that he's human. And so it's pretty amazing because I was getting in my word and I was reading and I was talking and, and Pepper started talking. And so I kind of wanted to show you what it's like when Pepper starts talking. Now, when I'm talking about Pepper, I'm talking about the OU. I'm talking about the, the carnal part of you that Jesus came to kill. Now, Pepper has a voice and he's that monkey on your back that's constantly um, saying things that uh, basically cause issues in your life. And so... I wanted to have a conversation with Pepper because this is what happens when, when I'm talking, when I'm in my prayer and prayer life, when I'm out on the streets, when I'm doing these things. And Pepper, he has an amazing way of uh, getting in my mind, talking to me, getting on my back. And um, yeah, he, he's got the little RFI shirt. I always have Pepper. You know, Pepper talks like me, looks like me, walks like me. And so I wanted to show you guys what a conversation looks like when you have a conversation with Pepper. So I'm going to have a conversation with Pepper today, and I'm going to show you what it's like. So, um, hey, Pepper, I'm, I'm going to do this. And uh, so Pepper sounds like you. He walks like you. He talks like you. He's everything that, that you used to be, right? And the problem is that Pepper has a voice. And if you don't understand who Pepper is, he'll pretty much lay out your whole life for you. And Pepper knows the scriptures just as, as well as you do. Pepper can... Can, can read the scriptures just like you. He can get up in the morning. He can drink his coffee. He can comb his hair. He can do all the things that you do exactly the way you do them. You can find out really quick that you end up living in Pepper. And uh, then you wonder why, why you're miserable. So I'm going to talk to you about the voice, Pepper. And, you know, I usually do the salt and pepper, but I figure, you know what? Uh, I've been using the salt and pepper thing, but... That's not, that's not working for uh, when, I, when I teach kids like about Pepper. So I said, hey, Pepper's a monkey, man. I, t I told kids the other day, Pepper's just this monkey that's on your back. He breaks things. He, doesn't, he tries to do things right, but he doesn't do them right. He, he, I mean, he's, he's really good at mimicking you, but he's not you. And basically what he'll do is he'll mimic everything that you've learned. And what he'll do is he'll cause issues. So this is an issue that I have. Let's say um, <clears throat> I'm out on the streets, right? And I lay hands on the sick. Now, when I'm saying pepper, I'm talking about the carnal mind. I'm talking about the part of you that's an enmity against God, right? Pepper is the carnal part of you that Jesus came to kill. There's salt and there's pepper. So for you that are watching this, when you see pepper, I want you to think of the old you before you came to Christ, the part of you that can do it on its own, the one that has it all figured out, the one that understands, yes, flesh right here. This is, this is Pepper. This is Pepper. He, he's flesh, man. He's, he's, he's as, as real as they get, right? And the problem is that Pepper speaks. And I'm going to show you what this conversation looks like because I have it every day. And you probably have the same conversations. When I'm in my word or when I'm shaving or when I'm showering, I talk to myself like it's this mental talk like, well, how come this? Well, God, how come that? And go to find out that I'm talking to this guy. This guy's the one talking. This guy's the one that's causing all the issues, right? And so this is what a, this is what a conversation looks like. It's a funny thing. So let's say um, I'm out on the streets and I see someone who needs prayer. And I look at someone, I say, I say, and, and this is in my mind, I say, man, they need prayer, right? And Pepper says, oh, you, you don't have to pray for them. It's all right. God, you know, God knows you're busy. You know, God, God knows you got things to do. Don't worry about it. I mean, God will forgive you. Don't worry about it. I mean, you know, we, we got a lot going on. And I'm like, no, well, Pepper, you know, the word says that believers will lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Well, they don't always recover. So, you know, for you to go all the way over there, 
you know, lay hands on them and for them not to recover, you know, that would look crazy. We would look crazy if you did that. So it's better that you do not even try because what's going to happen, and really I'm looking out for your best interest, you know, I want to make sure that you don't look stupid, you don't look crazy, and they're going to look at us weird, and so it's better you just don't go over there and just, you know, let's, let's just walk on. No, I don't think we should do that because that person's hurting. Well, how do you not know that it's, it's maybe... Maybe God wants them to be sick. Maybe they did something that, that they had that coming. So what if you're basically getting in the way of God and you're going to make God look stupid? And then I'm like, well, no, no, no. I can't listen to you because really um, you don't know what you're talking about because you can't carry the spirit of the living God. You're a monkey. And really what you're doing is you're trying to convince me to be like you because really I'm not like you anymore. I used to be like you. I used to be flesh and I can't be that, that way anymore. Well, no, 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 no. The Bible says that, um, you know, we have gifts. And how do you not know that you're lacking in that gift? I mean, what makes you think you have that gift? <laughs> uh, well, I believe I have the gift because I'm born again and I have the spirit of the living God inside of me. How do you know you have the spirit of the living God inside of you? I mean, I've been hanging out with you all week. I see how you act and talk and, 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 and you don't look like anyone that the Bible's talking about. And, and so what if in the reality you are just lying to yourself and God isn't even who he says he is for you and it's all this carnal thing and you're just basically lying to yourself? <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. So I'm gonna go pray for him. So I walk over there, I lay hands on him, right? And the lady can't see Pepper, but Pepper's there. He's right there next to me. And I say, hey, you know, hey, how you doing? I noticed you got a crutch on there. Hey, don't, don't bother him. Don't bother him because um, they got bags in their hands and uh, they look like they've had a long day. Shh, just be quiet. Um, hey, so I noticed that you have pain there. Uh, can I lay hands on you real quick? Because, you know, I, I believe that the spirit of the living God um, heals. Oh, well, you, you done messed up now because now God has to come through. And if you don't come through, you're going to look really crazy. We both going to look crazy. Like you might as well just walk right now. Well, um, I wanted to lay hands on you because um, I love the Lord and, and I believe that he's for me. And so do you mind if I do that? Do you mind if I lay hands on you? And the person will say, well, you know, I'm kind of in a hurry. See, I told you. I, I told you it was in a hurry. Like we might as well just go now. Like just give up now. Well, I tell you what. How about I just make it really quick? I won't bother you. I'll be really fast. Oh, well, you know, you know you're going to bother him. Why are you saying that? Why are you lying to him? Well, you know, I, I, I think really what we should do is, is how about, how about um, I just do it anyway and I'll bless you and we'll go from there. And the person will be like, okay, that's awesome. And then Pepper will be like, oh, man, oh, oh, man, oh, you don't messed up now, oh. And I'm like, Shh. I lay hands on him, right? And the person will be like, well, I'm not, I'm not feeling anything. Well, yeah, of course he's not feeling anything. He's not supposed to feel anything. I told you nothing's going to happen. I told you nothing's going to happen. I told you. I told you, Pete. I told you. And I'm like, shh. Oh, that's all right. You know, sometimes we don't feel anything. We're not, we're not feelers. We're believers. Oh, yes, we are. We're feelers. Yeah, they need to feel it because if they don't feel it, God's not moving. Well, I know you're not feeling anything, and that's okay. All right, because I'm going to love on you anyway. So I'm just going to lay hands on them and agree. Oh, now you want to agree. Nothing's happening, so now you're looking crazy. What are you going to do now when you walk off and nothing happens? What are you going to do then, huh? They're going to believe you now. You're a false prophet. You're a fake man of God. You ain't walking in power. You ain't, I told you, I told you you ain't got that gift. <laughs> and lay hands on them. And if they don't feel anything, I just say it's okay, right? Just because we don't see anything now doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Well, why'd you pray for them then? Huh? You're the one that went up to them. You're the one that interrupted their whole day and nothing's happening. You're the one looking stupid. <laughs> right? That's happening right here all the time. Right? And I'm like, well, um, look, I don't know what God's doing, but I know this. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You don't know what God's doing. <laughs> um, I, I just want to lay hands on you and bless you today. I wanted to bless you. Okay, and here's what's crazy. The lady will start speaking to that carnal part of you. Oh, well, you know, um, 
I had to go to the doctor, yada, yada. Oh, really? Oh, wow. What would the doctor say? So you can find yourself in him talking to him. Oh, really? What the doctor say? Oh, wow. Really? Wow. See, then he'll start talking for you. And then you start listening to him, and then you start believing him, and now he's talking through you. And now you're functioning out of Pepper. And then you walk off, and now you're in agreement with Pepper, like, Man, I told you, you need to get in your word. Oh, you're right, man. I need to study more. You need to fast more. Oh, you're right. I need to fast more. Oh, you looking stupid. You, you, you ain't who God says you are. You need to get on it. Oh, man, you're right. You're right. What should I do now, Pepper? Well, we're friends. Me and you, we're in it for the long haul. So just listen to me. I'll take care of you because, you know, it's better that we work together. <laughs> I ain't trying to work with you, bro. Well, it's just you and me. Now, nah, you ain't even here. Oh, I'm not here? I'm not here. I'm not here? No, you're not here. You're just a figment of my imagination. You used to be here, but that was in the old me, but you're not here anymore. You're just a thought now. And if I listen to you, you become real. And if I listen to your voice and I follow you, then I'll start mimicking you. And really, I'm not supposed to mimic you because you're dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm alive. Uh, no, I'm animating you. See this? I'm animating a dead thing. We don't animate a dead thing. We animate Christ. Now, if you listen to Pepper, you'll give Pepper a voice. You'll give Pepper movement. You'll give Pepper life. And my job is to teach you not to give Pepper life. To take your hand out of Pepper and not listen to him. He may wear the shirt, right? He may walk the walk. He may be fun for a while, but that's one guy that you do not want dictating who you are in Christ. So what are you animating? Are you animating Pepper? <laughs> or are you animating the son of the living God? And you're going to have these conversations, guys. We get into an argument. Check this out. I get into an argument with maybe my wife or someone, and she'll be in Pepper. And so really, it's Pepper talking to me. Oh, well, you know, you need to do this, and you need to do that. And she gets in Pepper, and I'm talking to Pepper, and I'm over here arguing with Pepper. Like, hey, you know, okay, I hear you. I'm, I'm you know, you're right, you know. And, and Pepper's just letting me have it. Oh, you're stupid. You're dumb. You ain't this. You ain't that. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't talk to Pepper. Talk to the hand. Does that make sense? Or let's say, for instance, you're reading your word. I'm telling you, you're getting your word, man. Pepper be right there like, well, that's what it means. It means this. That's what it means. It means this. And I'm like, well, that's not true. And the Pepper say, well, the Bible says this and the Bible says that. And I'm like, yeah, but you're reading it out of a uh, monkey mindset. <laughs> you, need to be, you need to be reading out of, uh, out of the new man mindset. And you can't because... You're at enmity against God. You're not subject to his laws, so you don't know what the heck you're talking about. You're trying to make sense of it, but you can't. You can't make sense of it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to help you, but really, you can't be born again. Like, you just talk, but you can't enter. Yeah, it's sad, but I'm not going to feel sorry for you, man, because that's not my fault. You will destroy me if I listen to you. You'll destroy my relationships if I listen to you. And I know you're cute and all that, but man, really, at the end of the day, you're trying to kill me because you don't know. You don't know what I know. <laughs> Does that make sense? Monkey mindset, man. And this is what he'll say. Um, I'm born again. Yeah, I can enter into the promises of God. I can do all the things that God said I can do. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I can do them better than you. Uh, no, you can't because it's for the sons of God and you're a monkey. Well, God doesn't discriminate. I'm a monkey, but I can walk in the kingdom of God. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. You're, you're entertaining, but really you're just, you're just a monkey and you, you don't know better. It's not your fault. You were created this way. And really my job is to, to discern you from who I am. And really, um, I'm not supposed to listen to you, Pepper. I'm not. 
Sorry, I can't listen to you. I can't do it. I mean, we've hung out, we smoked crack together, we drank, we partied, we had fun. We had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a blast. Remember this? Remember that? Oh man, woo! It was crazy all the fun we had. Uh, yeah, you almost got me killed too. Remember that? Ah, oh, but you know, I was with you the whole time. Ah, oh, but man, I almost lost my, my marriage, my kids. My sanity, remember when I was in the loony bin? Oh, you weren't in the loony bin by yourself. I was with you, remember? <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, do you remember when I was crying? Yeah, and you were saying, I'm there for you. Oh, I'm there for you. We'll get out of this. Oh, we'll do better. We'll do better. Uh, what's this we stuff? There's no we. You... There's no we. It's just Christ and me. That's it. There's no we. Does that make sense? So, really what we don't want to do is we don't want to give Pepper a voice. I can give Pepper a voice all day. Really. I can't. I can give him a, a voice. I can, I, I can animate Pepper all day long. Look, come here. Look at that. Yeah, I know people who, who they rely on Pepper. I mean, they're like, you know, Pepper's like, hey, you know, it's just you and me, you know, let's hang out, you know, hey, Pepper wants to hang out. Why? Because Pepper, he's a good friend, you know that? Yeah, he just, hey, let's do this, let's do that. Oh, the heck with them. I know they want to love you, but it's just you and me, so let's, let's just make a wall and we'll protect ourselves. Really, I want to protect you from these people because it's just you and me. <laughs> Oh, don't go over there. Don't hang out with them. No, 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 no. Don't hang out with them. They don't understand us. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what are you talking about? They're going to enjoy us. What do you mean enjoy us? There's no us. There's never been us. Jesus came to kill you, so I wouldn't have to listen to you anymore. Do you understand that? Do you understand that Jesus came to kill you, like to basically purge you from my life? To silence you once and for all? Do you not understand that's what the gospel is about? The gospel is about killing that part of me that you used to be attached to. And I got to cut you off because in you is pain and hurt and suffering. And all those things, you carry those things. And if I accept you, then you will pour and spew that stuff all over me. Do you not understand that, Pepper? Do you not understand that Jesus came so I don't have to deal with you? So I don't have to listen to you so I can live free? Like, do you not understand that that's why Jesus came? So I don't have to be like you? Do you know at the, end, at, at, at the end of the day, like when it's all said and done, like you can't go with me into the kingdom. Do you not understand that? Pepper, you can't go with me. You can't enter the kingdom of God. It says that flesh and blood will not enter. So I know you're trying to do best for me and you're trying to, to show me that you care about me and stuff like that because that's, that's in your nature and I understand that. But at the end of the day, you can't, you can't go where I'm going. Where I'm going, you can't go. Do you not understand that? You can't go with me. You can't. And I know that when I'm there, you start talking and you want to jump in on the fun and all that. But really, at the end of the day, you can't. Because you cause problems, man. And I and I think you're cute and I think you're awesome. And we have fun. But um, I'm just tired of being a monkey. I'm just tired of it, man. So... So Pepper, I, you know, I know you're there. You're dead, but you're there. So basically, he's, he's your carnal mind. Pepper's the carnal mind that's an enmity against God. It's not subject to his laws. And he will have a blast with you. No joke. He will have a blast with you. He will have a field day with you. Because he's in cahoots with the enemy. You didn't know that? Yeah. So Pepper is an amazing, amazing analogy through a monkey because you can give pepper life you can give pepper a voice you can give pepper your whole he, he can run your whole life he can have the keys to everything see i know a lot of people that enter the kingdom right and they live in pepper and really they give pepper all the keys to the kingdom they give all the keys to the kingdom to pepper and we think that we're in control of our i'm in control of my life and pepper's like oh really really well we're about to get mad right now Oh, well, man, I'm getting mad. Yeah, see, I told you, told you. Yeah, we ain't gonna put up with that. We ain't gonna put up with that nonsense. We gonna get mad. We gonna have at it. We gonna raise, we gonna raise the roof up in this piece. Oh, I'm gonna get so mad. I ain't gonna listen to you. I ain't gonna get mad. 
Why? Because I'm not you, and you're not me. And I understand the way you talk, and I understand how you do things, okay? And you, you, you may be there, but you're not, right? So, I want you to use this today. When you're out there in the world, don't be in pepper. Get, don't put your hand in pepper. Look, only messes come out of butts. <laughs> only messes come out of butts. Don't put your hand in the butt of pepper. Don't do that. Don't give pepper a voice, man, because it'll be it. You'll, you'll, you'll be tore up. You'll be tore up. So, um, I'm going to start using pepper certain teachings, right, to show you guys how the carnal mind works. And if I give them as a voice, you understand when I'm saying pepper. And pepper, I'll, I'll animate them. So I'll say, hey, you know, this is the way I think, and this is the way Pepper thinks. You know, I think that I'm righteous in Christ Jesus. Pepper thinks, oh man, I ain't good enough. I ain't strong enough. Oh, the promises of God don't fit me. I gotta go after him because, you know, things like that don't happen in the real world. <laughs> oh man, fear. Oh man, Pepper lives in fear. Oh, don't do that. Oh, man, that's going to happen. Oh, man, don't go there. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, man, watch out for the devil. He's going to get you. He's going to get you. Oh, man, he's like this all day long. Like, like, oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, let's go over here. Don't do that. Keep coming over here. No, get away. Get away. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Go over here. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, he's so scared. You know, he's scared. He's scared. Look, see? Don't give him a voice. Look. Don't give him a voice. He's right there. Look, he just, look, 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 look. Here's Pepper. Look. Look, my hand ain't in him. Watch this. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go lay hands on the sick. What do you got to say? I'm blessed. What do you think about that? You know why he don't talk? Because I don't let him. I don't let him talk. He tries to talk, but I don't let him. The minute he tries to talk, here's what happens. Here's what happens. Watch this. Here's what happens. Here's, here's how I do it. Here it is right here. Um, oh, man. I have to go hang out with my kids today, and I'm tired. Oh, uh, you don't need a. That easy. Take every thought captive. Cast down every imagination. See, you got to imagine this guy because he's an imagination, right? Every action is rooted in the thought. You got to make sure that your thoughts ain't here. Your thoughts are here in Christ. He has thoughts, right? And we think that when we're born again, that God will renew our minds. We think that God will renew our minds for us and the Holy Spirit will renew our minds for us. He won't do that for us. That's something that we need to do because he says that to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's after we've been born again, which means that we have a responsibility to transform our mind. God doesn't do, do brain surgery, okay? That's what we do. We got to come in there and we got to distinguish the two voices and say, hey, that's not me. That's not the spirit of the living God. That's not who I am. And you take that thought captive. You take those words captive and you don't listen to them. And you understand that, hey, this is the way Pepper talks. And I'm not going to listen to Pepper. And we, we have history. Me and Pepper got history, man. And he knows all my buttons. He knows all the things I like. He knows the foods I like. Man, he, he can get to the point to where he sounds just like me. And I don't even know the difference between him and me anymore. So you got to understand that Pepper is out for one thing. Pepper's out for Pepper. He's on, he, he's on for the ride. And here's the cool thing about Pepper. I say cool, but this could be Pepper your whole life. Look, right here. This could be Pepper your whole life. Look, check it out. That's your whole walk in Christ. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm going to go pray for the sick. No, you ain't. Oh, man, I'm going to go lay hands on some people. No, we ain't. Oh, man, I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go love on some people. No, we ain't. Hey, man, hey, check this out. I believe that if I speak over that thing, it'll be healed. No, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm everything that Jesus says I am. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, man, I'm a good father. No, you're not. I'm with you. I see what you're doing. 
I see it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a good husband. Who told you that lie? Who told you that mess? <laughs> oh, here's one. I need deliverance. Oh, you need to deliver this monkey off my back. Somebody get this monkey off my back. Somebody, I got spirits. Yeah, you got a gang of spirits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not saying that they're not real, but what I'm saying is this right here will convince you of stuff that you didn't even know you had. You, it'll believe, it'll convince you of things you don't have. It'll convince you that, oh, you're depressed. No, I'm not. Oh, you're hurt. No, I'm not. Oh, you're stupid. No, I'm not. Oh, man, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, no, 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 no. You're getting sick. You're going to die. You're going to be cursed. You're going to, oh, my gosh, the way you're acting. Oh, man. Pepper, man, he's a beast. He's a beast. And we got to understand that it's not us, right? I had him made a while back because I wanted, I wanted to be able to teach people what it is that we're battling with. And you got to use things with your hands. You got to show people things. And this guy, look, I mean, don't misunderstand me. He needs me because without me, he doesn't exist, right? And he's been killed. He's been annihilated. He's been destroyed, right? But he has a piece in there which is called this, and he's attached to that. He's attached to flesh even though it's dead, and we know that he puts thoughts in your head. He's like, hey. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, man. Oh, man. And then he'd just be like, hey, look at that girl over there. Hey, look at that girl. Hey, look at that girl. Look how she looks. Look. Ooh. Uh, I don't need to be looking over there. Oh, yeah, you do. You need to look. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, integrity, man. Oh, you don't need to do that. Nah, nah, it's all right. We can get away with that. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, no, no. God's watching me. Oh, he ain't watching you. I'm watching you, and you're doing good. Oh, no, no. This is called a tempter. You guys know that? Pepper's the tempter. I'm just saying, man, you got to understand, the OU is dead. It's annihilated. Pepper's gone. He's not on life support. The life support we give him is because we speak to him, we talk to him, we entertain him, and we give him life, and we put our hand in him. We put life in him. Look, we put life in him. And when we put life in him, we kind of forget that he's dead. And so we have our hand in Pepper, and Pepper just, man, he'll run wild. He'll run wild. And really... You're not animating him, right? He takes on your life and he animates you now. And now you don't know the difference between the old you and the new you. And that's called the mid set. And I talk about that. So really the reason that I have Pepper here today is because Pepper is Pepper. I know exactly who Pepper is. I know what Pepper likes. I know what he eats. I know where he sleeps. I know everything about him. And here's the crazy things. He knows everything about me. And because he knows everything about me, he knows how to get to me. He knows how to talk to me. He knows every button I have. And really, we got to understand that Pepper only has power if you listen to him. If you engage with him. You'll sit there long enough and, and, and you'll, you'll fall in love with him, man. And when we say, hey, man, this isn't you. And Pepper will say, yes, it is us. <laughs> There's no us. It's just Jesus. And Pepper can't see Jesus. He can't. He can't see Jesus. He can't see it and he can't enter. Jesus said, you have to be born of water and of spirit if you want to see it. And then he says, you have to be born again if you want to enter. So you can't see it or enter. Pepper can't see it and he can't enter. And so he's just talking about things that he's reading in scripture. He can only imagine this stuff. He can't see it. And we got to learn to shut this thing off. Shut this thing off. So I'm going to start using Pepper a little bit when it comes to the old man, new man. Right? Right? And uh, I'll make it a little more interesting. I got some ideas with pepper that I want to be doing with the pepper and salt teachings. And uh, really the conversation is about the old you and the mindsets and the struggles. And, you know, I can use them in so many teachings. Like, let's say I'm having a conversation with my wife and I want to encourage her. And Pepper's like, hey, you remember what she did? Yeah, she, you know, she, she knows better. You're the man. She's the woman. She needs to submit. She needs to listen to you. She needs to honor you. She needs to do all the things you're telling her to do. And, you know, it ain't right. So you got to let her have it. <laughs> you're stupid. No, 
if you let her get away with that, she'll do it again and again and again. And we just can't have that, can we? You're stupid. <laughs> so guys, I love you guys in the name of Jesus. So you're going to see a lot of pepper. You'll be hearing about, you're going to be hearing a lot of pepper. Can we hear from you some more pepper? Yeah. You guys don't have any idea the stuff I can do with this cat. Oh, man. I might go buy me a white one and have salt and pepper have at it. <laughs> so, guys, it's not about what you know. It's about what you understand. And if you can understand it, you can teach it and break it down. And you can show this to your kids, man. You'd be like, pepper's that part of you in there that you can't see. The part of you that's talking, that's trying to distinguish what's right and wrong and doesn't really understand God's word, but he'll try to his best. But you got to function out of the spirit, which is the new man, which is salt, not out of pepper. And pepper, man, he'll, he can act. Pepper's an actor. He can act. He can put on a good show. Fake it till you make it with pepper. So guys, I love you guys in the name of Jesus. And uh, we got to go. So guys, be blessed. If this helped you, uh, share this, comment on it, inbox me. If you want to see more of Pepper, let me know. I can set things up for your kids. I told my wife I want to do things for kids, man. And that's the reason that I got them. Because I want to do teachings just for kids. Like five, seven minute videos with Pepper. And I want to set up the whole room and talk about, you know, the things that happen in this world. And how Pepper talks. And where the child will understand where his feelings are coming from. And Pepper can create a feeling and an emotion in you. That's what he does. That's what he does. Did God say? Oh, man, that's a whole nother topic. So, guys, I love you guys in the name of Jesus. RoyalFamilyInternational.com. That's www.RoyalFamilyInternational.com. School of Identity and Lifestyle. So, guys, be blessed. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to go put Pepper up, man, because uh, he's just going to cause issues. And even though I put him up, guess what? He's still there. He's still there, man. He's still talking. But he's dead. Don't give him life. Don't give, don't give him life. Don't, 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 don't animate Pepper. Take your hand out of Pepper. Ugh. And don't animate him. See that? He's helpless. He's nothing. He's nothing. He's gone. Jesus took his spirit from him. Be blessed.